What's going on guys and welcome to your first JavaScript tutorial. Now before we spend half an hour talking about JavaScript, let's just go ahead and actually take a look at the quick example. Now you can see that I created this very boring and very stupid uh, website that says Johnny Rocks and I have a picture here and I have a paragraph that's trying to lie to you that this is how I look on a bad day, which is a complete lie. And I have a couple of buttons here that as I'm clicking, nothing is happening and I'm actually not going anywhere. So let's close this out and actually have a look what happens that uh, if we add some JavaScript to our web page. So I'm going to refresh the page so you can see that what happens as soon as the page loads. So as we go over here and you can see that I have alert box that says, hello, JavaScript newbie. So I click OK and I zoom out. Well, no big deal, right? The next thing that we can have a look is that image actually, there's a Im different image as I'm hovering over the, the image. So I already added some changes. Now the next thing is, as we're going over here, it says enter your name and press red button if you dare. Well, I feel like a wuss, so I'm not gonna do that right now. But as you can see that this is a pretty basic text input. So it would be interesting to see what happens. But I'm gonna go down here to these buttons here and I'm gonna press this hide buttons, okay? So as I press over here, you can see that buttons are appearing and reappearing again, and disappearing, sorry. And the next thing I have, well, change background. So it's interesting, what would I change? So I click over here and you can see that background, actually color of my whole website has turned pink. Now the next thing, next button I have is change font size. So take a look at this Johnny Rocks over here and you can see that actually it becomes very small. Now let's go over to these buttons and see what happens. So as I'm hovering over one of them and now I'm gonna zoom in, it says good luck buddy. And as I click it and then I zoom out, you can see that it's actually disappeared and you, I can't actually click the button anywhere. Now, these are very basic and uh, very dumb things, let's say if you would think about JavaScript, but it just gives you an example how it actually makes your web page much more interactive. And of course, of course, there's much more things to JavaScript. But just in a basic level, it actually makes your website much, much more interesting. So let's go over right here now to this text uh, input field. And let's say I'm going to write my name, but I'm going to write uh, Java script newbie. So I'm going to write this and I'm going to press danger. So it's again, another alert box. You can see that I went wild with alert boxes. Hello, what took you so long, JavaScript newbie? Okay, and now you can see how my whole web page is actually. Uh, I have changed everything around. It says over here, well, hello there and JavaScript newbie. So basically it takes the text input field and it actually whatever I write here, it actually would appear over here in my heading. And then I have, this is how I look on a good day, have a, have a nice day. And now let's talk about just in general terms, what is and what is not JavaScript. First of all, JavaScript is has nothing to do with Java. Those are two, basically two different languages. The next thing that we need to know about JavaScript, JavaScript allows us to build interactive websites. And JavaScript has become an essential web technology along with HTML and CSS as most browsers implement JavaScript. Thus, you must learn JavaScript if you want to get into web development and you must learn well if you're planning on being actually a web developer or if you're using JavaScript for backend development. If you want to do it with this tutorial, then fire up your text editors and I'll see you on the next video.